a lot of the old style injectors would have had this connection um, from the fuel rail on the top of the injector, which made pulling straight up a lot easier. Um, now a lot of the injectors have got like this side feed into the injector, uh, which means we need to get a unit to clamp around the injector body so that we can get the pulling gear in place. Uh, so I'm just gonna fiddle around with that now, get that all in place and um, see how we get on. Okay, so I've got the puller connected up over the injector. If you look there, you can see the injector socket here, um, just around the side here, you can see the injector connection. So this is the clamp that's gonna go around it. Uh, Laser say we can apply up to 250 Newton meters of torque to this nut to see if we can remove the injector safely without breaking anything. So we'll, we'll put that to the test. I'll go and set up the torque wrench now. There's my torque wrench, we'll get that one up to 250 newton meters. There we go, as it says. Um, we'll see how we get on. Just we'll stick it on there, um, see what torque we need to get to to try and get that injector moving. If it moves at all, we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm all set up there now. I've just started applying torque to this. Um, I'm just gonna go again. And I'm already up to about 140. Um, I don't believe this is showing any signs of moving yet. Uh, so I'm gonna persevere with this, slowly bring it up to 250, probably just tap on the side of the body of the tool just to help try and get things moving. Um, yeah, let's see how we go. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so just working on the first of these injectors now in a minute. And I should be able to see on the torque wrench. Not quite hitting. Oh. So there you go, 238 newton meters. And we're just starting to move. There you go, it's still moving. So it hasn't hit too far, but 238 is still the highest I've gone. And we're still moving. So I think that injector is finally starting to come. Okay, still just over 200 newton meters. So, so I just need to persevere with this now slowly um, and hopefully that injector will be in extracted in a minute. Okay, this one's just starting to come now. Um, so I'm right down to just applying about 60 newton meters of torque to that. Stiffening up again a little bit, so back up to about 150. Oh, there we go. Stiffening up again a bit. And again, we're going. So, it's on its way. That's it, that's just winding out there now. Right, that's nice and loose now. We can take the assembly, remove the injector from the van. As you can see it there. And then, while I've got it on the bench, I'll dismantle it and you can see how the tool works. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly dismantle this from the tool. Yeah. It's got stuck there, so I need to Wipe that off after. Let's get this off here. Okay. Yeah, so that's the stand. I might just stick these in a vice with this man, all that. It's, all right. it's pretty tight on there. Same socket stuck on the top of that. So I need to, yeah, I'll put these bits in a vice and get that dismantled. Um, 
this is the part that goes around the injector. You're never going to get it off without this. Uh, so that goes around the body there. Basically, clamps around the injector. The electrical plugs got broken in the process, but. We're not going to be too worried about that. We just needed to get it off. That's it, that's all good.